Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this blog, I'll cover the basics of the Intersect tool in SOLIDWORKS. The Intersect tool was introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2013. It's a pretty interesting tool because SOLIDWORKS actually considered it considers it to be a geometry modification tool. And in fact, if you look for it in the help, you'll find it under parts and features, features, tools for features and modifying geometry with the intersect tool. And this is accurate because indeed it doesn't actually create any new geometry, but it certainly creates new solid bodies and basically creates new topology. So let's see how it works by just doing it. I've got a solid body that's basically just a block with a hole in it that's not a through hole and then I have a surface body that's intersecting the solid body. Let's hit the intersect tool and take a look at how it works. The main input is either solid bodies, surface bodies, or reference planes. If I give it my surface body and solid body and hit the intersect tool, what it's really doing is finding enclosed volumes or what they call regions. So in this case it's found the bottom part of my solid body that's cut by my surface, the top part that's cut by my surface, and then also the void in that hole that is surrounded by a geometry. So it's really just looking for enclosed volumes. You can think of it as just throwing out the whole concept of what's solid, what's a surface body, what's a reference plane, and just finding what's being enclosed by all this geometry. The part of the property manager below that intersect is regions to exclude. So this will list all the regions that it's found and allow us to exclude certain ones. So I'm going to just exclude the top and bottom and keep that void area. Now one important option with this tool is to consume surfaces. So if I use surface bodies in my intersect, it sometimes is really good to just delete that surface body out. If you don't need it anymore, consume it and then I don't have a surface body hanging out to deal with. There's that in internal void that's found as a solid. Let's look at another example. Here's an example with just uh, surface bodies. I have four surface bodies and in the past before the intersect tool what we would have done is use this trim surface tool with the mutual trim type. Great tool, very powerful, but you need to either select all the pieces to keep, all the faces to keep, or all the faces to remove. And this can be a fairly tedious and exacting operation depending on how many faces. And it can be easy to miss a particular one that you needed. But the intersect tool makes very short, easy work of all this. Select the intersect tool, select all my surface bodies, hit intersect, it finds the region, consume those surface bodies, and there's my solid. It's a great tool. One more quick example that's maybe not the most practical one, but it's kind of interesting. If you ever ask somebody, can you make a cuboid in SOLIDWORKS without a sketch? Well, the answer is actually yes, because the intersect tool takes surface or a reference geometry or reference planes as input. I can give it all these six reference planes as the input and it will create a cuboid out of it. So maybe not that practical but for a SOLIDWORKS geek that's pretty cool. Next time you're at a SOLIDWORKS user group meeting ask everybody if they know how to make a cuboid in SOLIDWORKS without ever creating a sketch. See how many people can get it. Alright so that's a quick overview of the Intersect tool in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for tuning in.